Eva, Manic Mama Musings, and LJ. LJ, KBX. There. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! We are on my way, our way, not just my way. Our yes, way. Too. We're both going to my sisters. Yeah. So, I thought that I would. Hope you could see hear that other. I just tried to blow her off a little. But happy Easter. <laughs> um, we're on our way to my sister's. Yes, I'm repeating myself. Um, look, I got my hair down. It won't stay this way long because I'm gonna get real hot and it'll get put up. That's why I always have a hair tie on my arm. My niece always makes jokes that I'm shooting up, but I'm not. I don't like needles. So to I mean, it's wrong, but not just that. I'm afraid needles. I could never stick one in my own arm. I can do tattoos, but they don't go way up. I just know I can't do that. Okay, so, um, I, some of y'all told me what you were doing for Easter, and, um, you know, if you don't celebrate, just have a beautiful day. Um, this is probably, this is the first Easter we've spent with this sister um, in three, this will be four years because my mom and my other sister spent my mom's last Easter with all of us, and but my baby sister that I'm going to see, um, I can't remember what she was doing, but she wasn't there. So it's been four years since I had to spend Easter with them. And it's not like we do a lot, but we do dinner, and we just get together, and we have family time, you know. So that'll be nice. Um, I, you know, my nephew won't be there, but, um, and, and of course, Rihanna and them are still in Colorado. She's having, she's, I guess, having a really good time. I was hoping her mama would get a call to tell her happy Easter, because this is, I think, the first Easter I've not spent with my kiddo. No phone call, but that's okay. She's grown. And, um, yeah, the twins didn't want to go. They don't like going places, even family, so. So that's me and LJ. Um, this, this, um, video is going to be just clips of our trip. And, you know, just, I'm going to vlog it today. Um, I'm also going to do the 10 questions that Crystal had. And, I mean, if you didn't see that video, I'll link it down below. But Crystal Bagaday did a video um, of 10 yarny questions that she made up. And I don't know if I have an answer for all of them, but he's going to read them and I'm going to answer them. We're going to find I'm, out. I'm, I'm bouncing everywhere. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, oh, I'm losing myself. There we go. Come on. Okay. Okay. Ready? I think I'm on. Yeah. Go ahead. I just look like I'm bouncing. All right. Question number one. What is your favorite color of yarn? My favorite color? Yes. Teal. Teal and then the rainbow. If I can color, if I can crochet the rainbow, it makes me happy. But teal is my all-time favorite color. Like, I just can't wear teal every day. So, you know. And, and not a lot of people want me to make stuff out of teal because that's my favorite color, not theirs. So. Question number two. What is your favorite weight of yarn? Four weight. Um, I haven't worked with a lot of others, but the really bulky ones, it, I don't know why, it seems to hurt my hands, and I've not worked with very small yarns, so I really couldn't say, but four weights seems to be kind of, four and five weights are good for me. What is your favorite style of yarn? Style would probably be, uh, roving. I like roving. I, I, I don't know, there's something therapeutic about roving. I, satis, I don't know satisfying. I don't know how to put it, but it's just, there's something there that just really makes me happy. What is your favorite fiber of yarn? Acrylic. I've tried wool, and eh, it's alright. Um, I've done a little bit of nylon and stuff like that, and I like acrylic. What is your favorite brand that you can get easily within your country? Brand? Well, Easily within my country, I don't get to order yarn online much, so that would leave a Walmart and a Hobby Lobby for me to get easily with 
without ordering it because like I said I order yarn sometimes but not a lot and all we have is Walmart and Hobby Lobby where I live so I would say I love this yarn Hobby Lobby I love this yarn I really like I love this yarn it's so soft and soft it's one of the softest acrylics I've ever felt so yeah I'll go with that what is your favorite brand that isn't easy to get within your country I don't have one because I I don't I don't get it I mean I, yeah I, I didn't have one okay favorite yarn store online and favorite brick and mortar store let's see I'm trying to think Kirshner's, I think, is the only one that I have ordered, like, as far as company. I've ordered from Joann's and Michael's. I don't know if they count. Well, no, I've ordered from Joann's, but I haven't gotten my first order from Joann's, so I can't tell you. But Hershner's, I like Hershner's. Um, that's the only other one I've ever um, ordered from. We tried Yarnspirations and had a lot of problems, so I'm probably never going to try to order from them again unless they absolutely have something I can't get anywhere else. Your favorite brick and mortar store? Well, my favorite, if I had it in my town, is Michael's because I love latte cakes. And Hobby Lobby doesn't carry them. Anyway, Michael's because they have latte cakes um, when I can get out of town. Do you keep scrap yarn? If so, what do you do with it? Yes, I keep scrap yarn. I was putting in it and things for the birds, but now they say that it's not good for them because they can get tangled or I, it's not good for them. So I don't do that anymore, but I do save my scraps. So I either make them into, if they're long enough, I use them to make scrap blankets for the nursing home or I, or other. Or, um, if they're too small, I'm going to start using them for stuffing. I'm going to just chop them up so they're kind of like, you know, kind of like polyfill. They'll be all fluffy. So, those are two things. What is your favorite thing to crochet or knit? You know, I would say hats because they're just kind of mindless for me. As long as I'm not, like, following a specific pattern, I'm just going to do it. I'm just doing a regular double crochet hat. Um, but I'm really, I, I got to show y'all the, I got to uh, put the video in sometime. I made myself a shrug and I'm in love with it. And so I'm going to start thinking maybe stuff for myself because that was pretty awesome. When I got it done, I was happy. I was excited. I felt, oops, there you go. I fell. Um, I felt accomplished. I know it's not very tight. Yeah. Um, I felt accomplished and it fit and I could wear it and I was excited. So for right now, I'm going to tell you it's hats, um, blankets, if I've got the pattern, but usually it's something that I don't have to concentrate on, but I am getting joy out of trying new things. So I, I think that answers the question. And finally, if you could crochet or knit one last thing for the rest of your life, what would it be and what yarn would you use? Okay, one last thing. I, I can't say just one thing. It would be three things. And it would be three Afghans for each of my kids, each of my daughters. Um, and it would be in, a, um, and I even know the color. So it would be Afghans. For my three kids and um it would be and i know y'all don't like red heart but well okay some people don't i my mom loved red heart and she loved the mexi mexicana that, that's got all the rainbowy colors that was her absolute favorite and so i would make it out of that yarn so that when they when i was gone they could curl up with that blanket and they they would think of me and they would be able to think of my mom so there, that's cool. kind of sappy, huh? But that's the truth. So, uh, maybe one for LJ. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about that, but maybe. <laughs> I plan on going before him, so, yeah. And it's something my daughters could pass down, so there you go. Blankets. Um, so, I'm going to tag some people. I am going...
going to tag Ashley from Stitch and Ain't Easy. I'm going to tag Lottie from Enjoying the Journey, Cancer is a Lifestyle. And I am going to tag Angelia from uh, Crocheting House Mouse. I don't know if any of them have been tagged yet, but that's who I'm tagging to do. The, um, oh, and I'm going to add one. They said three, but I'm going to add one. And that's Terry from Nana's Crocheting Creations. She knows who she is. If I got your uh, cre crochet... Well, if I got your channel wrong, I'm sorry, Terry, but they'll all be linked down below. So there's those four. Those four, go check their channels out, but those four I'm tagging. So tag your it, and I'm gonna, of course, link um, Crystal's video down below. If you couldn't keep up with the questions, um, Crystal does have a list of them um, below her. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. but. Um, Crystal does have a list of the questions down below. So, there you go, guys. Uh, that was fun, and now I probably need to pay attention to the road. I, I mean, I'm not not paying attention, and this is kind of just a mindless drive because we're out in the middle of the movies, but I did hit that bump that made me fall. And um, and we have some curves. There's some hell late heck. There's some big old curves, y'all. Savage. Oh, and something I have not done in a while, but remember I was doing Song of the Day, and this is completely, as far as I'm concerned, perfect for today. The song is Redeemer by Nicole C. Mullins, and it is one of my all-time favorite songs. If you've never heard it, and you're Christian, um, you should listen to it. Look it up and listen to it. If you've heard it, tell me if you love it as much as I do. But to me, that's the perfect song for Easter Sunday. I even went to church one time, one year, and they did a big video. They did a, on the big screen, they did a, they had put um, stuff together for a video, like photo compilation that went along, and it was just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So, I tear up when I hear it. I It touches my soul, and um, I do have, my um, Spotify that I have a manic shuffle on um, that I'll link down below but also I'm going to make a list with the songs in it so on my playlist for YouTube videos on the ones I can find so I'm also going to do that so it'll be that much easier for you to find it if you want so that's what's going on right now like I said me and LJ are going to spend a little time chatting because um, he slept this morning and you know this is our holiday together um, if it's not too dark, I'll videotape. I'm going to try to videotape with my sisters. We'll see if they let me. And if not, I might put some pictures in if I have permission from them to do that. And then um, if it's not too dark, I'll video, I'll video on the way home and tell you how it went. And if it's too dark, I'll videotape when I get home. But I love y'all and I hope everybody is enjoying their day. Happy Easter. Bye. Hi, y'all. I'm back. I didn't videotape on the way home. It did get, it was kind of dark when we headed home. I know it's not dandruff. This is confetti that my niece, oh, she's 15 now. She's not. Anyway, crushed into my hair, but that's fine. And you see it's not down anymore because I got too hot. I had a wonderful day and I hope all of you did too. Um, my sister doesn't even want me to put pictures of her. Um, which makes me sad because I think it's just because she doesn't like, she doesn't like herself or like, she's self-conscious and I wish she'd quit being that way. But anyway, and she's beautiful. So there will be no pictures of, um, her. Um, there'll be a picture of my niece and her fiance and a little video of her fiance and my 15 year old niece throwing water doing a water balloon toss type i wish i would have gotten um when it splatted but at that the time i videotaped it didn't but they did splat a few that was cute we had a really good dinner i should have took a picture of the table we had ham mashed potatoes potato salad green beans um and then we had some barbecue from this really good barbecue place in Amarillo um, that uh, Paige's fiance had brought. Um, and yeah, it was just really good. Very, very, very good.
I loved it. So we had a good time. And we sat outside and we got to see my the three-year-old for a little while. And then um, he went with his dad. But my I'm glad my niece got him for a couple hours. I mean, she has custody. You know what I mean? But like the holidays, I just think the kids should get to see both their parents if it's possible. And so that was nice. And of course, the baby was there. And she... I wish I could show y'all a picture without it having to be for children. Oh, she's gorgeous. If you're on my Facebook, you've seen her. And she's such a happy baby. Like, she really is a happy, happy baby. And I love that. And then um, my nephew and his girlfriend weren't there. And of course, um, he did, I guess he didn't have his daughter for, the, for Easter. So um, we wouldn't have seen her if he'd been there. So, yeah. But it was a beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, just we couldn't ask for any better weather. LJ did get some sleep this morning into the afternoon and then he slept on the way home and um yeah so that was good like I said I didn't get to record on the way home because it was dark and I just was like no one wants to squint to see me and um I need to go to the eye doctor because I think my eyes are getting worse it's getting really hard to see at night when I drive you know it's that one of those women uh, you're at that age when one of those ordeals we talked about about women of our age well yeah which I already know that I can't see reading and I had glasses that had bifocals now I really only needed readers my distance sight wasn't too bad at that time like it was barely faltered but he went ahead and gave me you know with bifocals well i these three men were walking down the street and I couldn't see very well and I thought they were identical. Long story. And probably funny if I could ex if if someone had videotaped me trying to tell if those people were identical triplets. I think they were related. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. They looked a lot alike, but apparently I couldn't see them that well. Anyone else my age or older that has those problems where you got a uh oh moment when you kind of feel bad you're getting older because you can't see or hear as good as you used to just me no not just me so uh, sorry I got interrupted there for a minute um I'm kind of sad because I haven't heard from my oldest and like this is the first Easter that I can remember that we've not been together so like I haven't even got a phone call and you know they went to Colorado and if you're a parent you understand like the even when they're grown you worry about them and I haven't heard from her all I got was a good morning this morning not a happy Easter okay that's fine then I tried to call her no answer I messaged no answer then I called her again when I got home no answer just a little worried I anyway y'all don't want to hear all that so we had a very good day. I did not take my crocheting. So I could actually be engaged in family time. It was really nice to spend time with my sister um, and the rest of the family. I ate way too much food and I feel gross now. But it was good. Very, very, very good. And I've been wanting brisket and that's really what I wanted for Easter. And Matthew Page's fiance brought some brisket so I was happy. So it wasn't my brisket. So it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, even though it came from a restaurant. But it was still good. I don't know. There's something about home-cooked brisket that makes me happy. So, yeah. So, um, I think that's it, y'all. I don't have a lot more to say. I, uh, I'm tired. But I think I'm going to sack out on the couch for a while. Jay went to work, and I'm going to sack out on the couch and watch some YouTube hang with my fur babies and hope my oldest lets me know she's okay and um yeah I can't think of anything else I needed to tell you guys just gonna tell you about my day I did the questions so the people I tagged if you haven't already been tagged you're it and then if I didn't tag you and you want to do them you're tagged too. So there, you can mention me and say, I tagged you. Anyone watching me, 
that does videos that isn't been tagged, you're tagged. On top of the ones I mentioned. There you go. So, um, have a good night. And I hope everyone had a blessed day with their family and their friends. Or even just by yourself. Sometimes that's nice too. Mwah. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa.